Hi, this is Vasuki. Uh, I have completed MSc Zoology, particularly in a distance education in Bharatdasan University. Recently, I have cracked the CSIR Net Life Sciences exam, which has been conducted in December 2023. Also, I have secured an All India Rank 165. I have got coaching from Chandu Biology classes for one year. And this was my second attempt because I couldn't make it in my first time. Uh, this was my introduction. Now let's come for a preparative strategy, how I have prepared for the examination. Uh, so we have 13 units totally. Uh, in our class, I was guided that we have to be thorough with the first six units, uh, like biochemistry, cell and molecular biology, cellular communication and cell signaling, uh, developmental biology and plant physiology. These are all the most important units we have to be thorough with. And we should not take any chances regarding this first six units. And when it comes to the uh, after finishing that, that will be our first priority. And our second priority, we have to give for units like inheritance biology, that is genetics, ecology and evolution, and animal physiology. These are all the second preference we have to give for these units. And after finishing that, we have to give, um, give for units like unit 13, and some of the topics from unit 12 as our third priority. So, uh, in unit 13, we have a lot and lots of techniques in that. When it comes to the technique, we have to focus on what will be the technique and what will be their working principle and what will be their applications. And if you find any graph in any of these techniques, we should not leave that graph. For example, circular dichroism. And also we have, uh, what, uh, not only for these techniques, what are all the concepts we have come across. If you find any graphs, you should not leave that graph. We have to give a special attention for these graphs. Uh, for example, um, by uh, enzyme kinetics and photosynthesis. We have a graphs in these uh, topics. So we have to give a special importance for these graphs. After prioritizing the units, the second thing you have to know how you have to be thorough with the concept. How there will be a certain things you have to follow to excel in each and every topic. So the first thing you have to do is you have to study the concept. What are all the books we, you are having? You have to take that book and you, you can refer that book and uh, you have to make sure that you are uh, okay with the concept. And after, so for today, if you are read something, you have to analyze yourself. That is important thing because you have to know that whether you are reading correctly or not. Uh, you have, you can analyze yourself by solving the previous year question papers. Just by, uh, no, uh, just by answering the previous year question papers, you can come into uh, a conclusion that you are in the right track of the examination or you are de deviating from the examination. If you can answer correctly, uh, which has been asked in the previous year, then you can be confident that you are in the correct track of the examination and you are reading correctly and you are getting the concept wisely. And if you can't answer the question, you are uh, you are making a mistake in somewhere else. And you, what are all the things you have to do is, once again, you have to um, read the concept. And after that, come back to the questions and solve these questions. This is how you have to do for all the topics in our syllabus. And after finishing that and for the last 60 to 30 days are very important because in these days you have to involve yourself in solving many questions. That is important thing. Uh, if you, you have to solve at least 50 questions per day for the last two months. That is mandatory you have to do. If you can't spend the last 60 days or at least you have to uh, involve your yourself in solving questions by for at least 30 days. That is important and uh, you have to be so, so the two things you have to follow throughout the journey is consistent. You have to be consistent throughout the journey. Uh, if you can spend only three to four hours or four to five hours, you have to be consistent, not until the examination, until you crack the examination. You have to be consistent. That is important. And the second thing is discipline. Okay, for the same time, for the uh, throughout their journey, at this time you have to study. If you can fix yourself for this particular time, I have to study like that. You have to fix your mind. So discipline and consistency. Uh, this is what uh, an important thing which make myself uh, to be success in this uh, journey. 
and uh, um, thank you so much